All right, you may have seen today's guest assisting Eric on Entourage, but you will be seeing a lot more of her when she joins the cast of Human Target this October. Please welcome Miss Janet Montgomery. Yeah! I'm good, thank you. Um, uh, welcome. Welcome to the old program. Thank this you. was the part where I was going to hit on you and immediately backed out of it. So, oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. Because it's not going to end well. It's going to end with a boot to the face. I realize how studded those are. So, yeah, the, the, I'm going to stay away from that. These are my lesbian boots. So. <laughs> Go on. Well, you know. They... <laughs> They're the boots that I wear when I'm being a lesbian. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. Can we get another pair of those boots and let's get let's get Pepper Latif back out here? Actually, uh, no, you're you're in Human Target uh, uh, coming up. Uh, the episodes haven't aired yet, but I've been following your Twitter and uh, and I've I've learned a lot about your character just through 140 characters at a time. Um, you are covered in vegetable oil and crawling around. Yeah. At some point. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. We, we shot that last week in my underwear uh, through a very tight vent in, in vegetable oil. So yeah, that was a. Uh, it was a hard day's work. <laughs> it really I was. bet. I bet for many of the, the I, gentlemen on I set, I wasn't really sure what I'd signed up for until what, after that. What, what that? Does that tell me everything I need to know about your character? Or no, that tells you very little. <laughs> to know it told me enough to season pass it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, right? in the, I mean, she's she's a total chameleon um, on the show, and so she starts off like southern and pregnant, and then by the end of it, she's crawling for a vent in her underwear. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Nice yeah. turnabout. When when you when you heard you were going to be playing this character, did you realize oh, I'm going to have to be doing these? physically involved scenes because it's not just crawling around in vents although I heard you got pretty bruised up from that I did yeah I've yeah. got some nasty bruises and I would show you but like I'd have to take my jeans off to do it so. well that would be a shame can we get some music please I mean and dim the studio light no, maybe, I mean... maybe afterwards yeah maybe afterwards Absolutely. I've got a big old nasty bruise right here it's kind of oh, like nice. red and purple it's kind of yeah. like an art piece of art you're rocking a Courtney Love kind of yeah. look that's hot yeah I that's think. what I'm going for um, do, do you have to do your own stunts though or no I have a stunt double who's great actually um, but there's stuff that you kind of want to do yourself and you get more involved and with the character and you think, yeah, God, I'm going to give it a go, you know, fuck right. it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We'll do it live. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that made it out to air. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, 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 don't be <laughs> saying it again. Don't. Um, <laughs> at, what point, at what point when you're going through like the stunt that you have to perform do you go... No, I could die doing that. Let's bring in the stunt double. And then how does that conversation work? Oh, do you tag man. her in WWE style or no, is she gung-ho? No, this gung studio, this studio, come on. They're not going to let me do anything that too dangerous. It's like insurance policy. It's like they don't want you to do anything. Is there a part where you draw the line? You're like, okay, well, I'm not going to do that. No, I, I'd do anything. Yeah, yeah I, I would say I'm pretty... I, I always trust the people, the other people on set. So I'm like, yeah, I'll give it a go. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Sometimes I don't want to do it more than once. Like, if I do it once, and they're like, oh, we just need to do it again. I'm like, oh, really? Right. Don't make me do it again. Yeah, no, I went through that. <laughs> Fix it in post. Yeah. You'll get it. Yeah, go on. Uh, and congrats, by the way, on a great season of Entourage. Yeah. Love it. Um, you're going to be making it back next season as well? Yeah, or? yeah, I'm coming back next season. Um, I, came, I came onto the show, and it was just supposed to be a couple of episodes, and then... The role kind of expanded, and yeah, we started to get this storyline between me and drama, so I'm excited. Yeah. yeah, was that like, did you pull the longest straw to have him as your love interest on the show? Like, no. how does that, I mean, it's drama. Oh. I'm not going to get him personally, it's the character, no, I, I mean. Chose, I chose him. Me and Doug really? Ellen, were, we, were, we, went on a, we were on a plane um, going to Vegas to watch the Mayweather fight, and uh, he was saying, oh, you know, you know, who do you think you'd have a love interest with? What about Adrian? And I was like, no, I think maybe drama, because he never gets the go, and he's funny, and... I don't know. I just felt like there'd be a good chemistry, and it seems to be working out pretty well. I love it. And it's, it sings hope for guys like me everywhere as well, so I appreciate that. I actually love the way your character balances them in the series, and I, I'm glad to see you coming back next season as well. So yeah. We'll, of course, be tuning in to Human Target. Thank you yes, so much for coming on. Yeah. We really appreciate it. You guys, Human Target premieres on Fox on October 1st.